The painting behind me, titled American Hula, is the first painting that I've finished uh, since the order for self-isolation and social distancing took effect. A long, winding, convoluted, and complex. It's all about trying to find the language for feelings associated to images that compel me. American Hula did not start out where this painting ended up. In fact, it started out in a quite different feeling and quite different space. It actually began more or less here, with a woman dancing in a landscape. I set her against a warm yellow ground and bright blue sky, a very sunny and uh, optimistic day. The horizon line was up higher and the horizon was at a greater distance. It was when I added the second figure, this woman with a hula hoop, that the complexity of the painting began to shift my emotions. This is often the case in my work. What I start out with is not what I end up with. Somehow, the woman in the hula with the hula hoop began to sit uncomfortably in some relationship to the other woman dancing. I tried to make them fit together, and then I began to think that one of them did not belong in the painting. I tried for the longest time while painting this painting to transform this woman, this presence, into something different than what she was. I wanted her to be more playful, more lively in spirit, simpler. What I couldn't explain to myself was why an image of something that is supposed to be playful feels quite the opposite. And in fact, her presence to me feels more than imposing, it feels ominous. One of the things that intrigued me is that this woman seems so large, so physically present. She took on a, a quality of scale that made her feel like a giant. And as I painted her, the horizon line began to fall down lower and lower giving her an even greater sense of her size. I hadn't thought about it when I was painting the painting, but afterwards looking at it, Goya's painting of Colossus came to mind. In Goya's painting, the Colossus is roaming the landscape in the distant, and those who are aware of his presence are fleeing. In this painting, you see her at the beginning of her journey deeper into the landscape and it's not certain whether anybody is aware yet that she is here.